Pokemon fans, today we are going to go inside of this Walmart and try to find some General Mills Pokemon cards. And of course, it's snowing once again. I'm freezing. Breaking family, we gotta head inside. Marie, say hi. <laughs> My eyes are tearing up. It is so cold. All right, Breaking family, let's do this. All right, we gotta find that General Mills Pokemon cards. Okay, we got Cocoa Puffs, Lucky Charms, and boom, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and they have it right there with the cereal Pokemon cards. General Mills Pokemon cards to be exact. Chance to get an exclusive Galarian Ponyta card. Now every single booster pack inside is going to come with that Pikachu. Adorable Yamper. All right, Marie, there you go. And one box for me. Wait a minute, That's, wait, wait, come back. Come back. Honestly, they have a good amount of Pokemon uh, cereal right back here. So uh, no, no need to be worried. It won't be in the actual Pokemon cereal, so. Make sure you know that. Let's at least check the Pokemon section. We got some Charmanders and that's about it. Let's at least look underneath the shelf and nothing. Did you find a Togepi? Oh, that's 25th anniversary. Unfortunately, no Psyduck. I think we know the result, but let's at least check the Pokemon card section. Yikes. I mean, they literally do not have anything. Let's look underneath the shelf and anything? Anything? No. Let's check just a little bit further down here. See if there's maybe just a, just a lonely booster pack somewhere, somewhere. Anything? Breaking family, I don't see anything at all. Maybe inside of there? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Let me do it. There we go, just two. All right, we got two boxes, Marie. It's time to eat some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Mm. So we decided to stop at Walgreens as well, and much to my surprise, they actually have some stuff. We got two Rebel Clash booster packs, and then right here, a Gardevoir tin. Now, of course, we're gonna get three booster packs inside of this. I say we go with the Gardevoir tin. $15.99, Marie, yeah. we gotta get the tin. What is up, my Breaking Family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. And let's be honest, can Cinnamon Toast Crunch get any better? Why, yes. Yes, it can. Pokemon fans, it has officially started. You can now find General Mills Pokemon cards inside of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. If you take a look at these old clips from right here on my YouTube channel, this is not the first time that General Mills has had Pokemon cards inside of their cereal. However, this is probably the most exciting one because it is the 25th anniversary. <laughs> yes, I'm really gonna do this. I'm gonna show you the proper way to eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's really important that you pour the milk first into the bowl. And then the Cinnamon Toast Crunch on top of that. To me, this keeps the Cinnamon Toast Crunch at its maximum crunch potential. Spoon. Now we can get a big spoonful of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. At least have this bite right here. No, in the bowl. Thank you. Put the milk away when you're done. But I have a second box. I'll take that. Breaking family, do me a favor, demolish that like button right now, and let's go ahead and get started with today's Pokemon opening. Really wish I had some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I say we go ahead and start off with the General Mills Pokemon packs right here, but we will be opening up a bunch of stuff. We got this Wheat Beyond tin right here. We got some Vivid Voltage. We got that Gardevoir tin that we got at Walgreens. We got this Unified Minds box, and of course we got some Champions Path, but we all wanna see these General Mills Pokemon cards. So let me set everything off to the side. Here is the box right here on the front. You can see it is clearly labeled with Pokemon right there on the very front. Three free cards inside, including a foil Pikachu. You are going to get a Pikachu inside of every single booster pack. So including a foil Pikachu, celebrate 25 years of Pokemon, collect them all. Chance to get an exclusive Galarian Ponyta card. Right there on the back is a little uh, checklist to see if you can collect them all. All the ones right there are going to be foil. Those are not going to be foil. But look right there. It's going to give you a rundown of everything that you can get. And then, of course, you got that activity sheet. If you want to pause that, try to find all the names, you're more than welcome to do so. We got another activity sheet up there and one right down there as well. Now, I am kind of curious because it does say a chance at an exclusive Galarian Ponyta card. And usually when they do the cereal promotion, it's in different cereals. So... Um, I think, I feel like uh, in the past it's been also Trix and uh, Reese's Puffs, um, I, I believe so. So I wouldn't be surprised, that's why I was saying, I wouldn't be surprised if it starts to pop up in those and maybe those boxes have a different kind of exclusive to them. It just seems like there might be a little bit more going on. Uh, obviously, this is kind of just the start of everything. So let's keep our eyes peeled and see, see where all this goes. All right, here we go. 
We have the back of the pack. We have the front of the pack, and these are not going to be hard to come by. I mean, the stores are going to constantly be stocking, restocking the shelf with these. So uh, we walked in on a Saturday, legit yesterday. You're seeing this video on a Sunday. We walked in on a Saturday night and found them um, at a Walmart. So right there, we have our foil Pikachu card. Remember, one inside of every single booster pack. It's not like the McDonald's where you actually had to try to search for the Pikachu. This one, you're going to get it inside of every single booster pack. So right there, we have our General Mills Pikachu. It is going to be the only one with that 25th anniversary logo and that we know of so far. Like I said, if there's more to the promotion, um, then there could be more. We have a Dreepy and a Galarian Farfetch'd. So there is nothing, there's nothing different about these right here. If you look down there in the corner, it comes from its corresponding set. These are not new cards. I mean, the Pikachu is going to be the only difference. So if we open up this one right here, we should see another Pikachu. I keep turning it around like it's going to be easier to open up on one side. Ugh. Ugh. Be careful when you're trying to get this open. There we go. It is a little bit on the difficult side. Ah, whew. All right. Let's open this one up. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a lot better. And we should see uh, Pikachu once again. All right, here we go. Here we go. There is Pikachu right there. How you doing, Pikachu? And we got a Snome and a Sinistee. Honestly, just the pack wrappers alone are pretty neat looking. And there is a closer look at that Pikachu. I love the foil pattern in the background. And there is the back of it right there. Okay, moving right along. Let's go ahead and get to these Walgreens Pokemon cards right here. We do have the Gardevoir 10 that ended up being about $16. There is the Gardevoir card inside of it. And we have our code card right there. We got Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, and Sun and Moon base set. Let's go ahead and start off with Sun and Moon base set. See what we got inside of here. I feel like I've been opening up a lot of Sun and Moon base set recently. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got Rock and Rolla, Marini, Crab Brawler, Growlithe, Surskit, Energy. I'll put that right over there. Rotom Dex. We got Chargebug, Rainbow Energy, and going into a Hariyama. We'll go into Crimson Invasion next. Now, this uh, this uh, General Mills Pokemon should be popping up at almost every single Walmart location. Uh, if you're in the Midwest, I'm located in uh, Indiana, you should, should, I believe, start seeing it at Meyer stores as well. Uh, so you want to keep a look out there and it could start popping up at other grocery stores uh, as well Who knows maybe Dollar General? I have no idea energy. We got the burden energy cam right over there activated uh, But yeah, just keep a look out at, at all the grocery stores. I guess Starly going into a Gengar. Hey Gengar. How you doing? Welcome to the party We definitely have a Gengar vibes going on today. There's the code card right there whoosh We'll put it right over there. All right, going into Burning Shadows, a chance at that Rainbow Rare Charizard GX. Very, very difficult to pull from Burning Shadows. All right, here we go. We actually did pull one back in August of last year. We got uh, three packs from Burlington, formerly known as Burlington Coat Factory, and uh, ended up pulling a Rainbow Rare Charizard. It was pretty crazy. Uh, Wishful Baton, and go <laughs> going into Double Rhyperior for some reason. It's a Double Rhyperior day. There's the code card for that one. Let's go ahead and jump into our Vivid Voltage booster packs right there. We got four Vivid Voltage. Maybe the Pikachu? I mean, we got Pikachu vibes going on right there. There's a good, good chance that we might have, uh, might have a Pikachu in here. Hopefully. One can only hope I have yet to pull the Rainbow Rare Pikachu. So, fingers crossed. Whalmer having a good time, relaxing. Definitely summertime vibes. And I I really wish it was summertime right now. It, it, we're continuously getting snow over here for some reason. It's, I mean, it's winter. But it's like nonstop. Nonstop. Uh, Dusclops, Rocky Helmet, 
And going into a Rainbow Rare Alistair Trainer card. There's the code card before I forget. Woo! Breaking family. Vivid Voltage treating us very, very well today. Rainbow Rare Trainer. Woo! Gotta love those Rainbow Rare Pokemon cards right there. And Alistair, that is a phenomenal, phenomenal one to pull. Are you looking for that card? Let me know in the comment section down below. Is that a card that you are looking for right now for your collection? There we go, Rainbow Rare Alistair. Set it down right there. Put that Samurott right over there. Sorry, Samurott, you're not the star of the show. I apologize, we still love you, we still love you. All right, going into our next one. It should start to warm up next week, I believe, hopefully around here. Tailo, which is a bird, and fly away, bird, fly away. Be rude to tell a bird to just sit there and not spread its wings and fly away. Dream big. Dream big, you should be dreaming big too. Chase your dreams, don't give up. Go Goat. And we have a Yan Mega for the rare in that one. There's the code, co co the code card. Blah, if I can speak today, there's the code card. I give away the code cards in every single video. So if you enjoy a good code card, you know you can come over here and grab yourself a code card. I upload four to five times every single week, so make sure you hit that bell notification icon. It only takes a second. Go ahead, right now, I'll wait for you. One, see, there you go. Whalmer, energy, I'll put it right over there. Uh, yesterday, we actually, I bought like the most random, uh, random case of Pokemon cards. It was a, uh, a case of collection boxes. I won't tell you what collection box it was so you can actually go and watch that video. I'll link you up at the very end of today's video, but I bought the most random, random case of Pokemon cards and uh, it ended up being a good decision in the end, so. I don't know, I, I just felt the need to buy this random box or this random case of Pokemon cards. Weedle, Energy, Matang, we got Kakuna Matata, Moo Moo Cheese, going into an Ampharos V. Definitely, I'm feeling the electricity. I mean, Pikachu, Ampharos, you see, you see what I did there? I'm feeling the electricity in today's Pokemon card opening. I mean, we got a Rainbow Rare, we got two Pikachus, we got an Ampharos V partying with us. Let's go ahead and open up our Unified Minds and let me grab my Espeon pen right here so I can open this up just a little, just a little bit easier. Boom, there we go. And if you didn't see Friday's video, we went to McDonald's, but I didn't keep, I didn't keep any of the McDonald's Pokemon cards. No, I actually surprised some fans. I surprised some fans, uh, and you get to you get to see the reaction inside of the video. But I surprised them with some McDonald's Pokemon cards, and uh, as well as a bunch of other Pokemon cards, like we're opening up in today's video. But uh, it was just all about spreading some positive vibes in that video, making some people smile. So go and please go and watch that video. Um, it was it was just so so good. It makes me smile every single time I watch it. I think I really do think you'll love it. So uh, please go check that out. I might link it up at the very end of today's video as well. Uh, Tauros, whose favorite Pokemon is Tauros? I personally don't know anybody. I personally don't. Dragonair going into an all while the mall while GX. We are definitely flowing down a river of ultra rares today. Kind of like, um, what is it called? When you go to like an amusement park or like a water park and uh, you float on the tube, like down a river. And you, uh, that's all you do is you just float on the tube, like down, down some sort of river. It's called something. It's called something. I cannot remember what it's called. Let me know in the comments because I totally forget. But I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, that's gonna bug me. What's it called? Uh, all right. Continuing on with Unified Minds, we got Drillbur going in for that double high five. Dweeble spotting the Moltres in the sky. Pita, fly away, bird, fly away. Ooh, that was good. That was right in front of the camera. Energy, put that right over there. We got a Tornadus Jinx. Ought to know, going into a Tapu Finny. How you doing, Tapu Finny? There you go and the code card for that one. We are on the road to 700,000 subscribers right now. Do me that favor, smash that subscribe button right now. Let's get to 700,000 subscribers, or if you're already subscribed, you've been part of the Breaking Family since 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's how long we've been uploading videos, that many years. 
share out the video. That even helps. Liking the video, that helps. Energy, hair across, coach trainer. We got a Pikachu in the background right there. Going into a chandelier. I, too, would like to swing from the chandelier. All right, going <laughs> into... Whoa, okay, that's funny, Breaking Family. That's funny. Uh, and if you saw yesterday's video, you'll know exactly why. That is very funny right there. But I'll take it. I'll take it. A full art, alternate art, Raichu in Alolan Raichu. Whew, that artwork is insane. It is mind-blowing. Look at this artwork. If you've never seen it before, this comes from Unified Minds. And this is absolutely crazy, crazy awesome artwork. I love, love when they do the alternate arts. And that one is beautiful. There's the code card right there. Hopefully you get lucky with that uh, that booster pack online for the Pokemon TCGO. Oh, yes. Oh, that is beautiful. Let me sleeve it up. Whoop! Right up there in the VIP section. Wow. Love, love, love that artwork. That's one of my favorite, favorite tag team cards right there. Let's go ahead and go into, we got Leafeon right here. And we got Champion's Path. Honestly, I say we end on Leafeon. Leafeon, Neo, you know, sometimes it gets forgotten about as an evolution, and it shouldn't. Leafeon's just as important as any of the other ones, so let's really pay some respect to Leafeon today and save Leafeon for last. There is, uh, there is that double right there. There is the jumbo card. We got our four booster packs. We have still yet to pull any of the Charizards from this. We have our code card right there, and the plastic is all set over there. Ever so gentle. Okay, come on. Let's see if that Charizard is finally in one of these. It's like the last card that we, one of the last cards that we need because we still need that suspicious food tin. For some reason, my luck with Champion's Path is absolutely horrible. Kakuna, we got an energy. Let me know in the comment section what set is just absolutely so difficult for you to pull anything that you're looking for. Uh, it, not that it's a horrible set, just it's horrible for you because your luck with it is just not that good. Let me know in the comment section. I would definitely love to hear. I'm going to try to reply to as many of those comments as humanly possible. Okay, Champion's Path. Once again, we got three more of these booster packs. Vulpix, Inke, Pokeball. Going into an energy. Put that right over there. Sharpedo, Pierce. We got a hat. Rotom Bike. And a Zygarde. But hey, you know what? I'll take that as a win because it's not a Machamp. It's not a Machamp. If we can just get through this without at least, at least pulling a Machamp, I think that is a win, right? Ugh. We still got two booster packs left, though, of Champion's Pass before we go into that Leafeon. So there is a good chance we might hit a Machamp's Pass. All right, here we go. Oh, my apologies, Ekans. Blasting off at the speed of light. Energy. Hyper Potion. Going into Suspicious Food Tin. Oh, Team Rocket once again. Going into a hat. <laughs> There's the code card for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. All right, our last Champion's Path. All of it opening up in pieces for some weird, weird reason. Okay, here we go. Last one. If we can just not pull him a champ, please. Purloin, Kakuna Matata. We got Garbage, Energy, Great Ball, Victini, how you doing, Victini? Team Rocket once again, and Galarian Obstagoon going in for that low five. And we did not pull any Machamps. I say that is victory. Now it is time to pay respect to Leafeon. Honestly, I forget what booster packs come inside of this. Maybe a little bit of a variety from what we've already opened up. There's the code card that will unlock that Leafeon. Crimson Invasion. Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon Base, and some Evolutions. Who doesn't love Evolutions? Let's go ahead, put that all back in there, and we'll set it ever so gentle on our Snorlax bean bag chair. All right, let's go ahead and start with Crimson Invasion. We'll just go in this order right here. All right, Crimson Invasion. There is a, uh, a Rainbow Rare Charizard, Rainbow Rare Charizard, Rainbow Rare Gyarados GX inside of Crimson Invasion. So. If uh, Gyarados is your favorite Pokemon, or one of your favorite Pokemon, Mankey causing some trouble, causing mischief, 
then uh, Crimson Invasion might be for you. Energy, put that right over there. We got ourselves a Sensino Execute with those Kanto vibes. Going into Alolan Raichu. You want to hang out? Right over there. You don't get to hang out in the VIP section. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not VIP. Not VIP, Alolan Raichu. Going into Sun and Moon base set. Uh, let me know if you have been able to find that Pokemon cereal yet. Not, well, not technically Pokemon cereal, but uh, the Pokemon cards inside of cereal. Spiro, fly away, fly away. Like I said, it's not, they're not going to be hard to find. There's going to be so much of it out there. Legit, so much of it. And they're going to keep restocking it. So um, you might have to be patient just for a little bit, but they're going to keep restocking it. Cinnamon Toast Crunch has to be on the shelves at all times. So um, I would not worry at all. All right, here we go. We got Burning Shadows. Uh, and then we are going to end on Evolutions. Honestly, I think my favorite pull today, ooh, Alistair, Alolan Raichu. I mean, let's go with that Pikachu right there. Uh, let's go with that Pikachu, honestly. Uh, just because today, today's video, today's Pokemon video really is kind of about that Pokemon cereal. Energy, we got a Lunatone, Gloom, wow, my fat. Going into a Lucario. And I really hope Marie is... Well, that's interesting. A little bit of an error. Pokemon card right there. I like that. Well, if you can get the code card right there, uh, there it is, but I am definitely going to keep that. I like that. I like a good error in my life. All right. Um, as I was saying, I hope Marie is enjoying that Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's my favorite cereal. It's always been my favorite cereal. And you know, it's one of those cereals, there's certain types of cereals that you can just eat with your hands, right? You know, you can just stick your hands right in the box and just get a big handful and just eat it. Uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is one of those cereals, along with like Cookie Crisp. I think Cookie Crisp is like that way too. I really, I feel like those are the two cereals that you really just can do that with. Onyx, Nidoran, Poliwag, Revive. We are going to eat all that cereal, so don't worry. Uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is something we buy regularly. So there's the code card right there. Going into, Oh, Mewtwo, but I, I, I'm sorry, Mewtwo, you ruined the party. Breaking family, that's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out these videos right over here. I'll see you all in the next video, and I truly love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.